Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today is a little bit of housekeeping, a little bit of catch up. Um, Colin from Colin's Diecast 164 Customs asked me in the comments um, what camper um, castings do I have or what motorhome castings do I have because he scored himself a um, find on eBay I think he said but um, you know what it's like you uh, you say you're going to do something and you don't do it and it just gnaws away at you and then a few days go by and it bugs you even more so I've thrown this video together I hope this is the right mobile home Colin if it's not just enjoy the video for its own sake <laughs> but um, we'll get started a um, little bit of old school today um, if this is the right one uh, we were discussing in the uh, comment section um, this is from 1980 Matchbox Classic um, it first came out in white they just called it the mobile home um, wasn't a Winnebago or any of the other famous brands just MBX um, my memories of this are quite vivid um, it was purchased for me, it wasn't something I'd pick up as a kid with my own um, pocket money but uh, see if we can have a look in there when I got it I didn't even play with it for a long time because uh, it didn't really fit into my little play session narratives and then I think I saw a movie where um, somebody smuggled themselves I was sm smuggled some other people across a border somewhere, probably the Mexico border, into the US. And uh, they hid in one of these. Uh, and it's been repeated in many a movie, hasn't it? So um, that was the new narrative for this one. And then, of course, uh, the original I had got bashed to pieces because it was inevitably ramming police roadblocks. So. Uh, uh, that's the artwork on the original box. I don't actually have uh, that one. It did come out um, possibly the very first, I'd imagine so, if you go by the new um, on the box. But the one with the brown stripe has eluded me thus far. And I think uh, that was the one I originally had, although it might have been the off-white or ivory colour one. I don't know. Memory is vivid but not photographic. Um, same interior on this one. And then of course you see something on eBay and you think, oh I don't have that one. And then you do and it was just a dodgy photo. So I wound up buying a couple of those. Um, so there they are, so I'll plonk those in the background and I think from memory Colin asked me what uh, variants I had of it and I'm really hoping this is the uh, casting he was talking about <laughs> I have this one a darker coloured or a different coloured swing door on it with that little slam the door action um, NASA command centre Space Shuttle Command Center from NASA, NASA, should I say. The radar on the roof. Um, I looked up um, Wicker Fandom, I think it is. I've used that site quite a few times and have found it to be very accurate sometimes and a bit off others. Um, in this case it was a bit off, they didn't even mention this one, but... Um, I vaguely remember it coming out and I did buy it with my own pocket money not this one but one just like it um, and now there is another NASA version and I don't think it has an opening door and it has that logo along the side so that's that one and uh, fandom or wiki matchbox could not help me out with that one I don't know when or how I got it, but it's there. Um, I'll get to that in a second. 
1984-85 came out with this one. It's um, a similar casting, but um, they've welded the door shut, like they've had a little pandemic. And they've added some lights and a fire hose, or a water cannon, whatever they call it. And of course it went to the command center. So a bit of a retooling. And US only market got this in roughly the same year. Same sort of thing. And late 80s US also came out in that one. So now we'll slip him in there because it probably goes there with the uh, snazzy wheels instead of the dot dash wheels and oh this is the one I, I really hoped uh, Colin wasn't talking about probably not though because I believe that only came out in one iteration uh, late 70s early 80s I just called it the camper and uh, another one where you probably didn't have it in your collection unless grandma bought it for you not knowing what you liked um, 87 uh, no 89 they went a bit uh, sinister looking blacked out the wheels went plastic on the base and made them in Macau whereas this one is Thailand and of course you know where these are made and where else? Macau is that? Yep. They went to cheaper and cheaper markets all through Mattel's history. Yeah, I saw that one. And 97, I'll fast forward to. I think this was US only market. Um, notice the spelling of center. Um, very US centric. This is a Thailand. Some of them do have suspension. Wow. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of suspension, but the rest do not. And the last one is from 9899. Bit of crowd control. Again, looking very sinister. Macau also, suspension also, so very funky. So yeah, I hope I hit the mark. But uh, also a bit of a shout out to Colin for putting me on to this little gizmo. It is of course something for old people. Let's see if. Uh, hmm. But it's got a snazzy light function on it, like that, and it caters to all my blind person needs. So yeah, thanks for putting me onto that column. Um, if you're looking for this, uh, there's one of a, this is one of about ten or fifteen available on Amazon. Um, I do have these because I'm rushing over the hill but um, for those microscopic details um, get yourself one of these they're really good um, yeah I uh, paid about 15 bucks for that so don't go crazy you'll still get a good item um, and that's about it I think so yeah if this was the mobile home or camper you were thinking of Colin I hope this scratches the itch if not, I hope you just enjoyed the video. <laughs> and to everybody else, um, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and share. And uh, check out Colin's Diecast 164 Customs. Cool channel. I'll see you later. Bye.